Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 11, decimal fractions. Topic C, decimal comparison. All right, what we have now is we have our number line, and we have some, of, some cards, and you might have done this activity in class. What we'll do is we're going to try to put these cards in order on our number line. So, our number line is going to be made up of decimals and fractions. So, let's see. We'll put our decimal numbers up here. So, we're going to start with one-tenth, and then this one will be two-tenths. Three-tenths will be over here, and four-tenths will be here at the end. So, this one actually says three-tenths, so I'm going to start with that one. Three-tenths would be about here on our number line, and I'm going to show that with a fraction. So three-tenths is here. So I know where that card goes. Let's try another one. I see four-tenths right here, so I'm going to put four-tenths here. And I'm going to... mark it as four-tenths as a fraction as well. Okay, so those two cards are in the right place. Now let's see what we have. I have a two-tenths, right? This is two-tenths. It's the same as this one. So I'm going to mark that one as a fraction. That's where two-tenths will go. Now I have 17 hundredths, 34 hundredths, and 13 hundredths. I need to figure out where these are going to go. So I have some fractional numbers to show those. 34 hundredths and 13 hundredths. So thinking about, we'll go ahead and put this fraction here too. It's our one-tenth marker thinking about hundredths. Hundredths would be made up of one ten and seven ones. Seventeen hundredths is how we would read this. So that's one tenth and seven hundredths. So this would be eleven hundredths. This would be twelve hundredths, thirteen hundredths, fourteen hundredths, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundredths. Seventeen hundredths would go here. So this card is going to go kind of right in front of two tenths. Now let's think about, well, let's do thirteen hundredths because seventeen hundredths was here. So 13 hundredths probably is before that. So this is 110 or 10 hundredths, 11 hundredths, 12 hundredths, 13 hundredths. So it would go here. So this card goes first, it looks like. Now I have 34 hundredths. So that would be 3 tenths plus 4 hundredths. So here's three tenths. So this would be thirty-one hundredths, thirty-two hundredths, thirty-three hundredths, thirty-four hundredths. So this chord needs to go in between three tenths and four tenths. We'll just put it there. So this is the order of our cards. So let's try a word problem. During a triple jump contest, Hei Zheng jumped 8 and 76 hundredths meters. Marianne jumped 8 and 7 tenths meters. Beth jumped 880 hundredths of a meter. Lily jumped 8 and 7 hundredths meters. In what place did each student rank? 
Alright, so in order to do this, we're going to have to pull out our important information. So here we have Heijun and what Heijun jumped. Here we have Marianne. Here's Beth and Lily. This is what each of the students jumped. Now, Heijun is already in a decimal, but Marianne is represented as a mixed number. Let's convert this to a decimal. 8 and 7 tenths would be written this way. 8 and 7 tenths. And then let's do the same thing with Beth. Now, thinking about Beth's 880 hundredths. If you have 100 hundredths, you have one whole. She has 800 hundredths. So she has 8 wholes and 80 hundredths more. So that would be 8 and 8 tenths. And then Lily has 8 and 7 hundredths. Let's try to figure out who's in which place. Who jumped the farthest in the triple jump contest? So we need to compare our decimals. One thing I'm noticing between Heijun and Marianne is that Heijun jumped 8 and 76 hundredths and Marianne jumped 8 and 7 tenths and I know that 7 tenths is the same as 70 hundredths. Beth is the same as 80 hundredths. So Beth would be in first place. Heijun would be in second place because this one is 8 and 76. So this is 8 and 8 tenths or 80 hundredths, 76 hundredths, 8 and 76 hundredths, 8 and 7 tenths or 70 hundredths, and then Lily, 7 hundredths. If we write each of these as a decimal in the hundredths place, 80 hundredths is greater than 76 hundredths, which is greater than 70 hundredths, which is greater than 7 hundredths. All right, that'll take care of things for lesson 11, where we've been comparing and ordering mixed numbers in various forms.